Hello everyone, George again. Uh, you know, nice to nice to see you. I'm glad. Uh, you know, I hope you're all uh, well and uh, feeling uh, good, healthy. Um, it's a very nice uh, day today. It's November five here in, in the Philippines. I thought I'm just um, just talking general, really. Well, as uh, you probably got it by now, uh, Jesus, Jesus the Christ is coming soon. And uh, that's uh, ex exciting uh, stuff. Uh, signs are everywhere. So, like, a series of videos making the signs. Anyway, uh, look around, uh, look at videos, if there are videos related to this one. You'll see all the signs, geopolitical, um, astronomical, um, even um, society around you, um, the growing uh, indifference to prophecy and overall um, growing uh, apostasy. In, in the church even some uh, all predicted in scripture um, sometimes disturbing and um, upsetting to see uh, for those of us especially for those of us who have loved ones who uh, maybe have not accepted Christ yet or have, maybe have fallen away uh, from uh, faith uh, which scripture says that you have fallen away that you were not really uh, uh, maybe you have not accepted Christ uh, to, to start off with so it's sometimes it's difficult uh, to see uh, loved ones people people of, uh, at work and friends either indifferent completely clueless or who have um, you know uh, who say they're believers but have fallen fallen away so for those of us who are watching and who are looking forward to the coming of uh, Jesus the Christ, what is our reaction to those who seem to be falling away? Some of those who are going to be people that we uh, care about deeply, love, and uh, you know, friends, relatives. So what, what do we do? Uh, well, we are guided uh, by scripture how to react to all events positive or negative and that is to always be uh, to rejoice and to be thankful you must remember that for Christians for those of us who have accepted Christ everything will work uh, to our good okay. and another thing that this another illusion that we must uh, dispel is that somehow all of the people in our lives those we care for and love deeply uh, it's an illusion to believe that these are yours uh, these are actually uh, all everything belongs to God and it's God's will and choice uh, and how he um, what he does with what he owns right but, uh, your loved ones are not yours sometimes when a loved one falls away it's very hurtful and uh, but you know definitely it's painful however it I'm sure pains God a lot more because it's actually you know he, he you know he, he is did the ultimate thing to, to save us from our sins you know he sent his son to die on the cross the ultimate uh, sacrifice you know the giving of your life to um, get us out of bondage to sin so when people reject that or are indifferent to that gospel well that's hurting for him right because he gave everything so from our side we need to see things in perspective that this uh, um, everything belongs to God and he can give us um, people in our lives. They're there for us to uh, grow and to enjoy, but he can also take them away. Either way, we are to be rejoicing and thankful. Thankful for the times when things were for the good times, and uh, you know, and for the bad. Usually, uh, you know, the bad opens the way to other things. And as we Grow, uh, approach the end of the uh, the church age when uh, 
eventually the uh, the opportunity is open um, to the acceptance uh, of the gospel draws to a close and as we uh, depart to be with uh, our bridegroom as his bride it will be um, what happens to those who are left so um, in case you are watching this and you have been left uh, not I missed the rapture and uh, okay so remember that the, the, the rapture is because we were taken up by God to be with uh, Jesus the Christ right so any stories about alien abductions or you know about some weird stuff like the earth expelling us <laughs> in order to proceed to its next stage of evolution <laughs> as some people seem to think the, that that's not quite true it's actually a lie okay well you might hope, hopefully you won't believe it there are two things that you must be aware of if you have not, if you have missed the rapture and you have been left behind. The first thing is you must not take the mark of the beast because that would uh, have irreversible consequences. Uh, basically, the mark of the beast would be any kind of mark or anything actually that we placed on your hand and your forehead, right hand or your forehead. That would be required for you to, in order to buy and sell. Since there's likely going to be a one world economy, one world government, and one world religion. Uh, this mark will probably be given to those who would worship the Antichrist as God. And so um, I strongly, uh, you know, I, I don't know whether you've listened to me now, uh, and certainly some, most, some of you who have not have listened to me in the past, but, you know, I have to say it, don't accept the mark, okay? It's, uh, it's bad for you. You, you will um, regret, it, regret it for eternity. The next thing that you must be aware is that um, the gospel of Jesus the Christ is still there. Um, remember, uh, Jesus Christ died for your sins. If you believe in Jesus the Christ and trust him for your salvation, you will be uh, saved. Remember, he died for your sins. If he rose again, his resurrection uh, proved that his payment for your sin was acceptable to God. He allowed you to be reconciled to God. All you need to do is to believe in Jesus the Christ and trust in what he did for your salvation. Hopefully, you, if you hear this before the rapture, you will accept. And certainly, I, I urge all Christians to please pray for those who are not, who are not yet saved. The time is short. I think we, need, uh, we could be talking days. So, yeah, please pray, pray for them. However, if you're watching this and you have missed it, you can still accept the gospel. And still be saved. Uh, the consequence of this, however, is that you will most likely be hunted down by the Antichrist, one world government, one world religion, and one world economy. The entire world will be against you, and um, uh, the Bible has said that there will be um, lots of martyrs during this time. Uh, being a Christian during the tribulation period is likely to result in your um, death. So uh, that's what. Uh, so you know, I, I can probably work out that it's probably much better to be uh, to accept Christ before that. Okay, so uh, now I, I guess you, you think you might be able to survive. It, the, the tribulation will last seven years, and they'll be able to kill you for seven years if you're a believer. And maybe I, I suppose there could be some of you who will survive that. But however, the Bible does not seem to indicate a large number of people who would survive the tribulation. Um, although I'm sure there'll be some. Uh, it does indicate in many places that there will be lots of uh, martyrs at this time. So, um, but at the time that I'm making this video, uh, the rapture has not yet happened, it's open, right? So please, to consider, accept Jesus the Christ and accept Him uh, now, after watching this video. Come uh, uh, pray to Him and ask Him to show you ask him to save you All right and for those of you who are Christians be patient and keep on watching especially those who are watchers um, I'm somewhat puzzled by some Christians who um, probably uh, don't see seem to be excited about Jesus the Christ coming you know uh, it's, a, it's this is good stuff um, I know it might upset some of your plans but your plan should be aligned with that of God. Remember? We always pray. Remember when we pray the Lord's Prayer? It's always, Thy kingdom come. Well, they are. Thy kingdom come. It's coming. 
So good stuff, right? Maranatha. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.